At this time, we'll call the regular scheduled meeting of the Lake Worth City Council to order on uh, Tuesday, December the 12th at 6.30 p.m. At this time, if you would, please rise for the invocation or remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, the invocation given by Pastor Zach Hatton of Lake Worth Baptist Church. Mayor, Council, City Workers, let's pray. Father in Heaven, there have been so many times where we thought that we were right, but we were wrong. So many times where we should have stood, but we ended up sitting. So many times that we knew the direction to take and, and didn't take it. And, and Father, leadership, that's just, we, we, we can't have that. And that's why I'm so proud of this council and, and proud of this city to, to seek your face first before everything that they do. God, would you give them wisdom God, would you give them boldness to do what they need to do and a, and a heart to serve as I know that they already have. And we ask you these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, we'll let the record reflect all council members are present. And the next item on our agenda is a, um, I guess, a special recognition for a special person. <laughs> Mr. Fox, if you would join me down here, please. I have to call you Mr. Fox in the meeting instead of Greg, right? <laughs> well, I was wondering if you were talking about Daddy. <laughs> Everyone is aware of why we're here tonight is to honor uh, Greg for his service to the community and to the, actually to Northwest Tarrant County and to the chamber. Um, I've, got, I've got a list here. I'm not going to read them all. I've only got six items. I'll pass it around if y'all want to read it after the meeting. Uh, these relate to the school and to the city. Uh, Greg is a founding member of the Lake Worth ISD Education Foundation, which is a, is a fundraiser for uh, uh, grants for teachers. Uh, he created a new and free uh, networking event such as coffee at the Cotton Patch to promote area businesses, which people come to that. Uh, he's helped create and organize the City of Lake Worth Memorial Day event, which is a big event. has gotten bigger the second year it grew. He's helped organize the City of Lake Worth's annual shop fest, which we've been doing for several years, which includes obtaining, you know, donated gift cards from every business at no cost to the city. He, this is the uh, first year we had this. He assisted the City of Lake Worth the new Charlie Guerin Veterans Citizen of the Year Award at luncheon, which was uh, really a great success, and I'm sure that'll grow too. And he's participated in the Northwest Tarrant County Relay for Life held at the, in Lake Worth and at the high school stadium. It was in the city this year because of the weather at the stadium last year, right? Yeah. The weather kind of changed it this year. It did. But you did the, the you did, you thought fast and you moved it. With the National Hall. Yes, sir. And it was fun. I but, got to uh, skip around that room several times. <laughs> but, of course, everybody knows Greg is retiring December 31st, which is not far away. I got a feeling you're still going to be around the area, though. I will. What we'd like to do is, uh, if I may, <coughs> give this presentation to you. This is uh, a street sign. He now has a, a street named after him in the city of Lake Worth that uh, our city manager has started this year. It's a neat little, this is a real street sign. Wow. There's not a street. <laughs> not a street. <laughs> well, you can give me that little street here. By <laughs> <laughs> That's mine. That's yours. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a neat little sign deal, and don't look for it on Mexico because it won't be there, I don't think. And it's been signed by council members, chamber members, staff members. It's got a lot of signatures back here to honor Greg for the work and the service you've done for the city and for the whole area. Wow. So Greg, this is yours. Right. To, uh, you can hang it somewhere. Your man cave. And we have it on the Oh, yes. Yeah. So, Anything I'd like to see if anyone else here would like to do 
to stand up and say something. I know there's somebody that does, but it's got to be. Oh, I'll say something. Okay. Greg, we will miss you greatly. You've been a great addition to our community. I know you're not leaving us, but it won't be the same without you being in charge of some of this stuff. But we're grateful for all the great things that you've done while you've been here. And I look forward to many more rodeos again. <laughs> I you. knew that one was coming. Yeah, I knew that one going to be the first one. Yeah, rodeo. Anyone else? Please. You know, the, it, this is going to, no matter how many of us speak tonight, it's probably going to be the same words coming out. But we're all very, <laughs> very, very grateful for what you've done for our community, for our chamber, uh, how you've supported all of us and uh, come up with some wonderful new ideas to grow our chamber. And yeah, we will hunt you down and find you if you ever try to leave the area. We are, we're really glad that you still want to uh, be involved in our area. And we will miss you desperately at Chamber, but back, I'm sure you'll show up. Thank you. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Anyone else? Yeah. Oh. Go ahead. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, I arrived about three years ago, almost to the day, and it was shortly a few days after that that I met Mr. Fox. And he's been very integral in the ISD and so many different programs, but especially here lately, CTE program, and really poured a lot of effort and energy in helping us obtain tools and just programs and uh, culinary arts piece, and just so many things. But anyway, thank you so much for uh, your investment in our children and our staff at Lake Worth Independent School District. So thank you very much. I, I changed my mind. No, 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 no. <laughs> he was one of the first people I'd met when I started joining Chambers of Commerce. I didn't know how to meet businesses, how to meet the people that run the cities, and this was in Saginaw and here as well. And he's been kind of a mentor for me to learn how all these things work, and his business experience from the Star Telegram and other things have helped to make me better at what I do, and it's uh, been a pleasure working with him. Yes, sir. You know, Greg, I just want to say thank you for everything that you've taught me uh, going through. Obviously, there's a lot more you can teach me as we're going uh, through. When I got out of the service, it was kind of just, uh, what do I do now? And, you know, seeing, seeing the roadmaps that I can take it has been uh, very helpful. Uh, one of the things you didn't mention uh, for him is he helped us start the veteran business owners uh, uh, meeting, business owners meeting right over here at Panera Bread. It's, it's uh, grown from, from three regularly to nine regularly now. So, uh, bravo, thank you. Thank you for that help. Thank you. Anyone else? Mr. Fox, it's your turn. Wow. So, so it's yours, sir. It's Mr. Fox in the round. Yes, <laughs> First of all, I'd like to thank you guys. Without your guidance. Without quality people managing your dealing with it on a daily basis, the city would be what people respect. This would be a little village on the edge of a lake. There were a lot more than that now. And I didn't have a lot to do with that. But I can tell you for a fact, it's just the beginning. The growth is coming. Get ready, Stacy, <laughs> Debbie, Monica, and all you department heads, because I'm, just, I'm telling you, between now and the end of 2028, we're going to be flying high on here, and there are going to be more businesses wanting to get in here, and there's no space, and uh, they'll be buying each other out. That's what I'd like to say to you guys. And you got a tough job, because Everybody's going to want to steal from us. <laughs> and, um, and you, every day I see you guys. You do a great job. And this guy, will he ever not be our mayor? They're going to give you one of these one day, you know. Anyway, you two, you work hard. I appreciate you. Get ready for that uh, trail that's coming through. I told you two years ago it was going to be coming. Okay. And the rest of you, thank you for supporting me, considering my uh, special needs to achieve. Thank you. 
and I look forward to working with you in the future in who knows how many different ways because I don't want to sit down. My daddy did that for about three months and came back and said, okay, let's buy some more newspapers. <laughs> and he went out and bought 14 of them. So I'm not going to do that. But I bet you a certain guy who's got a church going is going to have a brand new building built soon. Look forward to that. And there are people in this town that will help you. Thank you for this recognition. I look forward to the future, whatever that may bring for all of us. I appreciate the people at the chamber and even the guys who show up from Springtown, Texas. <laughs> it's the rodeo guy. <laughs> Thank you for the time that you've given me to talk. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the future. I'll sit down now. It's free, Greg. There's no charge to get in. Well, yeah, but is there a charge to get out? Oh, yeah, there is that. Okay. Uh, now, I'm going on to another thing, which is at Squaw Creek Golf Course, where we're celebrating our Christmas uh, excitement for the, the Rockhounds group out of CERA. Yeah, you didn't know it, but I hunt for semi-precious stones. And my wife's waiting. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.